Uh, now, he was a Love Island uh, cast member in 2017, alongside Kem, actually. Uh, but this summer, 28-year-old sprinter Theo Campbell made headlines, sadly, for a very different reason. Now, this is awful. Uh, at the moment, Theo has lost the sight in one eye and he was hit by a champagne cork. Now, this is something I think, again, a lot of you will identify with this. I, Theo, have have done this to, to a friend. Ruth was there. Mm -hmm. We were at a dinner celebration and I opened this uh, bottle of... It probably wasn't champagne. We probably couldn't afford that. It was probably something <laughs> cheap and fizzy. Yeah, bucks fizz. <laughs> but the awful thing is, my friend, I mean, I hit my, my friend, uh, Professor Nicola Rooney, bang in the eye and I really no I thought, oh, my God, she's going to lose her sight. It didn't happen with you... Awful, awful situation for you. Yeah. Tell us what happened, my friend, and, and what <coughs> medically then had to, had to happen as a result. Like, long story short, uh, it all happened so fast. It was just in a little uh, champagne party where they pop loads of bottles of champagne. This is on and, holiday in Ibiza. Yeah, on holiday in Ibiza, yeah. Um, so you, these are you, going off right, left and centre, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, 100 bottles. So oh. everyone's popping them, they, they give out the bottles and stuff. I'm always a bit wary of them anyway, so I'm like, you never know. Like, you, you hear people getting hit by the corks and stuff. Um, so I have my glasses on, I go, I walk through, but I leave my glasses on. And somehow, it, someone popped a bottle of champagne, sprayed it, got um, underneath my glasses, in my eye. So briefly, do you know what I mean? I take, off, I take, up my, um, take off my glasses, go to wipe my eye, turn around, split a second later. <sighs> oh. so, uh, a girl was just shaking the bottle, so she didn't even pop it on purpose. Um, Lifted up my glasses, and you know, I'm very tall. You know, I mean, I'm six mm. five, six six. She was held it down so here. She was right underneath. Yeah, you. and it, it was an absolutely amazing shot from her. She was aiming for my eye. Do you know what I mean? If she was aiming, then absolutely a banging shot. So I turned around, caught me clean. I was like this, opened it, hit the eye, and oh, yeah, it was a bit of a bad pain. Yeah, it was a but bad how, pain. How bad? Did you realise how bad it, it it's was? It's a very at that eerie point? pain because when it's your eye, and you just know, just like common sense, if a cork hits you in the eye, it's, it's never a good thing. And I was just like, nah, nah, nah. So I couldn't, I, I, I couldn't open either eye at first. Had my hand over, I couldn't see anything at all. <coughs> Stumbling, like, someone grabbed my arm, pulled me to the side, and I was just on the side, as like, no, 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 this hasn't, this happened. Is it has bleeding? It? I, well, I waited two minutes, just like hoping the worst case scenario hasn't happened. So I looked down and there was this blood in my hand. I thought, no way, I can't believe she got me. Um, so yeah, from there, the, the security grabbed me, they chucked me to the, the medical room and the medic looks at it. I, I didn't know if there was glass in there or anything like that. And, uh, you know, in the Spanish, she didn't really talk that much English. She goes, oh, let me see. I, I had to wait, you know, 10 minutes, couldn't even do anything. Pulled my op eye open. She goes, oh my God, let's get this boy to the hospital now. I was like, and how painful was it at this point? Very, it, getting it, it, worse. Do you know, say, say you get hit, say you get hit um, by anything, it hurts for five, ten minutes, and the pain eases up. It was like constant pain for the first two days. Didn't ease up even that. So I went to the a hospital even after the surgery. I went to theatre straight away. What so did they do? So, yeah, yeah, I mean, surgery, when you say, I mean, the, the, actually, your eyeball, yes. you're going to lose it. Uh, at first, they, we thought that, because um, luckily, luckily Ibiza, thank God to them, they got a, a, like a one-eye surgeon on the island, so he comes in in his shorts, converse. I looked at him, I was like, all right, at least he's here. He looks at it, he goes, all right, straight into theatre. Um, but at first, it was the worst, because I go, doctor, I might be able to, am I going to see again? I was quite upset. And he goes, don't worry about seeing again. We tried to save the eyeball. And I was like, what do you mean save my eyeball? It's one thing cutting it open, yeah. another thing maybe having your eye removed. So I, I, ring, I ring my girlfriend, Kaz, I was like, oh my God, they're going to take my eye out. So like, Kaz wasn't there with you at this point? No, no, no. I was with, together, yeah, but... I was with my friends. She, she flew out. She goes, she's on the fly. I was like, there's no need, no need. She took me to theatre. And we should say to people, this, we're only talking about 10 or 11 days mm. ago that this, this happened. Yeah, yeah, about 11, yeah, 11 days ago, I think. Um, but that's the, that's the worst, like, thinking, like, having, having a good holiday and then next thing you know, you're in hospital saying you might have to get, have your eye removed. Uh, but luckily, like, it, was, it, wasn't, it wasn't too damaged that needed to be scooped out. Um, so I woke up four hours later. But I was, as he was telling me, they was taught, no one spoke English. So I was like, don't take my eye out. Don't, don't, but your anything. eyeball was split. I mean, they actually had to stitch it together again, the sound. Yeah, spread. it was, you know, you got your eyeball, um, it maybe. It didn't go, the retina, which yeah. apparently is the main part of your eye, was, was swelled up and it was bruised, but it didn't, that part didn't split, which is apparently the main part of seeing. I don't know how, how your it eye works the, that way. the well. front of your eyeball. Yeah, and it didn't go through the, the uh, pupil. So it went, um, it kind of went from the white part <coughs> through the, 
eye wrist to the other white part. So I got seven stitches through my eye now. Um, but he saved it. So I woke up and I was like, you know, am I going to have to see again? He goes, you'll never be able to see the same again. Um, it might be a very long time till you start seeing anything like even in a blurry, blurry wise. But if I look now, I can see light. That's a good part. Um, but like I explained it, like looking through like a, a stained glass window. So you can see, you can see you, I can see, but it's, everything is a blur, a massive blur. So if I, sh if I shut this eye, uh, yeah, it's, it's, so it's not very handy. So how hopeful have they said to you, you know, you will not get your sight back that you had before? Yeah, no, how hopefully do, do, you've do, some sight. Doctors don't really like to give you much hope. I, like, I come to London and seen the eye surgery after. I was like, yeah, I was like, me, I'll go doctor. Like, I'm, 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 my body is amazing. I could heal up from anything. I always have. I'm an athlete. Mm. I was like, to be honest, I know you can't really like give me much hope. He goes. Nah, it's not gonna. It's never be the same again. I go. Is it gonna be all right there? He goes. Nah. I go. I go. I, go, I think it will be. And he goes. That's fine. You can think that. I don't think it will be. But, but, what, but what about things? You, know, Theo, you mentioned there as an athlete. I mean, you know, you're a runner, you're a sprinter. That's what you do. Um, what about initial things like balance? How, how, how are you? I know yeah. This may be further down the line for you, but because you need your two eyes to judge um, how far away things are. Like I can see everything. Like it's not hard to imagine once I have a one eye. You can just cover up one eye. It's exactly how you imagine it. But it's just distance. Um, like picking up a glass. I was. We had dinner. I went out for dinner yesterday for the first time, and I poured. I poured my uh, some water out. Then I poured. I went to pour uh, Kaz some water out and I was just spilling it down her dress without even noticing. I was, yeah. I'd pour it like that and, and I, was, I missed she, the cup. How has Kaz been got, through all this? She's got a wet leg. Ah, uh, she's been the best. Like, I'm, I'm quite positive about it because like, I just appreciate, I got so much she, more she's love and support. She's in the studio. She's too shy to come she, on, but she's <laughs> there. Oh, there. She don't want to steal my thunder. <laughs> but now nah, she, she was, oh, about her, she was being the best. She flew out straight away without any questions asked. Um, she just turned up at the hospital, mm. stayed, uh, stayed in the bed with me for like four or five days. Because you were very back. upset, weren't you? I mean, you're being at, very brave about it all now. But... Yeah, at first, I didn't think it was that big a deal. I put, I put on Instagram, oh, I can't see her again, they spit my eye. But I didn't think it, it'll make that much, it would be that big a deal. So I thought it was my eye, my problem. Um, but like, whilst, that's what's really helped. So I'm, I'm being really like positive about it because like Kaz has really helped me out. And it's the world. I've been getting messages from like across thousands and thousands of messages, or maybe even five, six thousand. Um, but on top of that, maybe one, 100, 150 um, messages about people losing their eye. And I think, oh my God, it could be so much could be worse. So much worse. Yeah. Like, you're, you're an amazing so guy. I mean, worse. hearing those messages and realizing as an accident how common this is, but also what he's doing. Uh, he signed up to a cataract charity, uh, which will include a, a, a 10K yeah. in, just, in just a few days' time. So applaud you for that, my friend, yeah. being aware of all of this thing. And um... Life isn't over of one eye. And um, I've done it for a cataract charity because um, after Google searching charities for people who got hit in the eye of a cork, there's not many. Yeah. If, if, if any, so I had to switch well, it up we... in, this, in this instance so people yeah. could help. Um, so if you want to donate, help someone today. It's only £20. OK, listen, we Good wish luck. you well with, you. with your run and we wish you well going forward and let's hope that that sight does come back. Your positivity yeah. gets you there. Three months' time, if I can't see, then I might be a bit upset. But okay. in three months, you've got to be patient with these come, things. Well, right? come Thank back you. to us in three yeah. months' time. All right, all right. Hope, hope it's really good news. And nice to Fingers see Cass crossed. as well. Thank you. Thank you, Cass. Thank you very much.